Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use actual solid data to build your business from the ground up. This is something that I've created that I call the data driven business model. And I know that data driven business has become sort of a, a buzzword in the corporate space, but the way that I use it is a little bit different. Usually the corporations, when they're talking about data-driven business, they mean once they already have a business up and running and generating income, that they use data to make tweaks and make business decisions. But what I'm going to show you how to do here is how to actually use the data to create your business and every part of your marketing process in the first place from the ground up. Okay, so first let me show you the typical guru process. This is what most coaches, most course creators, most consultants, most done-for-you service providers, most software providers are doing uh, is the, the typical guru process that most of the gurus are teaching. And the way that works is you come up with an idea of something you think people want and Usually they'll have you narrow that down a little bit into a particular niche and then create a statement like I help such and such a person get such and such a result without such and such frustration, something like that. Then after that, they create a marketing process to tell people how great your thing is, how great your product, how great your coaching program, how great your software, whatever it is. You create marketing to communicate that to people. Maybe you have a funnel, maybe you have a webinar, maybe you have a Facebook group where you're, you're sharing valuable content. Um, you know, what process it is doesn't really matter, but you set up a process that shows people why they might be interested in your product. And then step three is you run some ads, cross your fingers, and pray that you get some sales. And so this is kind of the moment of truth. You know, they hit the, the go button and then just hope it works. Or um, even worse, uh, a lot of people nowadays are trying to do this all organically through reaching out to people on Messenger and having endless Messenger conversations or social media conversations on some other platform and spending a whole lot of time and effort without having ever really validated that their offer is something that somebody wants in the first place. So that's the basic gist of the typical guru process, the process that most people follow, and it works sometimes, right? If you happen to guess the right thing, then it'll work. If you guess the right message and you guess the right offer, and some people are good at that, you know, some people just have a good intuition for that. And that's why you see the gurus have good success stories, right? They have people that succeed using their program, but they have a whole lot more people who don't succeed. So what I've created as an alternative to this process is a process where we remove luck from the equation. We remove guesswork from the equation and replace it with data. So the basic gist of the data-driven business method is that you are collecting data at every single point in your marketing process and using that data to create every step, to create your landing page, to create your ads, to create your lead magnet, to create your credibility creator, and every other part of your marketing process, it, your offer itself included, you are creating based on the feedback that you get from the market. So let me show you what that actual process looks like. So step one is to get preliminary data from outside sources to find your unique angle. This is similar to a unique selling proposition. When the gurus are saying, I help X person do get Y result without uh, these frustrations, right? This is the idea here, but instead of just guessing at it, we're actually using data to come to it. Step two is headline testing for lead magnet. You need something that is going to get people's attention, get people into your ecosystem. That thing is called a lead magnet. Some lead magnets are very attractive, others not so much. Now instead of trying to guess what is going to be attractive to your audience, you're actually going to test that and use the data to tell you what is the most attractive lead magnet. Third step is to get funnel feedback for landing page, lead magnet, 
credibility creator ads and offer. This is the most important step in my process. This is where you are actually getting real people's feedback on what they need, what they're frustrated with, what they would like to happen so that you can take the things that people tell you that they want and repeat it back to them in their own words. So if you've ever had any trouble with copywriting, that you've been not sure what to say in your ads, not sure what to say on your landing page, etc., this is absolute gold. They will tell you what to say, so there is no guesswork involved. Okay, step four is presentation feedback for beating objections. This is where you are going to present your method, what you have to offer, and give people a chance to give you feedback. And they'll have all sorts of reasons why, oh, it's, you know, maybe this is great, but it's not gonna work for me because I'm in XYZ situation, right? You're gonna get a whole bunch of objections, a whole bunch of reasons why the person doesn't wanna continue on in the process. And so you're going to catalog those, you're going to be aware of them, and you're going to have a formulated answer for every one of them. And not only are you going to be able to answer the objections, but you're going to be able to preempt them before they ever come up in the first place. So once you see an objection coming up a lot of times, you know that it's coming. So in your marketing process, you already talk about why it works for people in that particular situation. So that's step four. Step five is purchase feedback for identifying compelling messages. This is when somebody buys your product, you want to get their feedback about what made them buy, right? What got their attention? What got their interest? What finally flipped the switch that said, okay, I want this. This is right for me. If you can zero down on what the most compelling things that you have to say in your messaging are, then you can double down on those. You can repeat those. You can make them more prominent and this will do wonders for your sales process. Okay, and then the last step is completion feedback for driving customer success. What that means is that you get feedback from your clients after they have finished using your product or if you're a coach, after they finished your coaching program, you ask them what they liked about the program, what they didn't like about the program, how you could improve, how you could support them better to ensure their success. Now what this does is lets you create the most perfect program or product that you possibly can so that your clients have a very high success rate, so that they start talking about how great you are in the marketplace to their friends, to other people who might be interested. You get referral traffic. They're also happy to give you testimonials. They tell you, they'll, they'll uh, send you a message that you can screenshot saying how great your product is, or they'll make a video talking about how great your product is. You can also do interviews with them and get case studies that you can use as part of your marketing. So the, the more you do to drive your customer's success, the more successful you're gonna be in the long term. And it very well could be that there are things that are holding your clients back from getting the result that they want that you never even thought of, right? So that's why you wanna do this. And then step seven, um, I think I said that was the final step. There's one more step. Step seven is to track and tweak every part of funnel. That is every part of your sales and marketing process. You want to set up your tracking so that you can see the numbers, so that you can see, okay, how many people clicked on my ad and how much did I have to pay per click? Uh, of those people who clicked on my ad, how many people opted in for my lead magnet? Of those people who opted in for my lead magnet, how many went to the next step of the process, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Of the people who saw my pitch for my paid product, how many of them, what percentage of them uh, decided to buy, right? And so you wanna track this so that you can try new things, so that you can do A-B tests, and ultimately so that you can scale the business as big as possible, if that's a goal that you have. 
So that's the whole process. Now look at the difference between the, the um, my process and the typical guru process here. And notice that whereas with the guru process, you're just kind of relying on getting it right the first time. You're just kind of hoping, you're just kind of relying on luck, on chance. With my process, you're, you're getting rid of the guesswork. Every part of your process is going to be about giving people what they actually want instead of just giving them what you think they might want. You see what a big difference this is. You know, in business, nothing is guaranteed, right? You're, the, there is no guaranteed success, but this, the data-driven business method, is about as close as you're ever gonna get, right? This is using hard, solid data to guide you at every point in the process. Now, if this seems a little bit complicated to you, um, it's actually easier than it seems, but I realize this, this does take a little bit more work than, than this, right? You know, if you, wanna, if you wanna go the easy route, then sure, the, the typical guru process will be easier to set up. However, my process has a far, far greater chance of getting you the success that you're actually looking for. That said, this is actually a lot simpler than it seems. And this is something that I have a kind of a copy and paste system that I've created that I've used very successfully now with two completely separate and unrelated businesses. And so if you're really interested, you want to cut out the guesswork, you want to cut out the uncertainty, you want to cut out the just kind of sitting there crossing your fingers and hoping that something works. I'm taking on a few folks that I'm going to personally mentor throughout this process, and I'm actually gonna give you my entire system, right? So I'm gonna give you my funnel that you can just basically copy and paste. You can get rid of my text and put in your text. I'm gonna give you emails that you can send. For everything, all the steps of the, the process here, um, I'm gonna give you the words to say where I can. You know, it's gonna vary a little bit depending on your business, but I'm gonna tell you exactly what to say, and if we have to modify it for your business, we'll talk live and I will tell you exactly what to say. So basically, I'm just giving you my system and working with you live to implement it for your business. And if you don't already have a business, then that's fine. Notice that the, the point of this process is that you are using the data to create your business absolutely from scratch. From the very beginning, you're using the data to create your business. So I'm gonna guide you through every step of that process. So if that's something that you'd be interested in, I will put a link in the description where you can apply to be part of that program. Now, this program is not gonna be cheap and it is gonna require some dedication. This is gonna require some work on your part. And I'm only taking a few people because I'm actually gonna be working with you live to build this business. So obviously I can't spread myself too thin. I'm only taking a few folks, so I really want people who are dedicated, who are willing to put in the work, and who are gonna get awesome results that I can then use for testimonials and case studies in the future. So if that's you and you're interested, Click the link, fill out the application, and then you'll get a chance to choose a calendar appointment with me or someone else on my team that we can go through your business with you. Or again, if you don't already have a business, that's fine. But we're going to figure out if and how we can get you to your goals. And if it's a good fit, then we will invite you into the program. So thanks for watching, and I will talk to you soon.